hi there welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to learn about react lifecycle methods using react hooks you might have seen several blogs and whiter videos talking about lifecycle methods using class-based components so even if you see in the react official documentation you see talking about component lifecycle method using class-based components so here let me scroll a bit and i'm going to show you so there they, are, they will be using class-based component for an example and very few talks about lifecycle methods using hooks and that's what we are going to talk here that's what we are going to learn lifecycle methods using hooks here you can see in the documentation class-based component is being used so without any delay let's begin now let us go to the vs code and see what are the things we have done here so here we have one simple component that is app component and there you can see we have a button called increment count button and we have a state where the count state is initialized using zero value i have used set start and i'm setting or resetting that value whenever this increment count function is called and when it is called whenever the user is clicking this button the count value is going to get increased because this increment count function is going to call here and then we are going to trigger this set count and then using that we are going to update the count value so that's what we are doing and that is going to get reflected in our h2 here so first let me remove this and more this one we are going to discuss in a bit so let us go to the browser here and let's see so let me refresh here and you can see the increment count and as soon as i click here you can see the number gets increased and it keeps on increasing from 0 it started now 11 12 and 13 so it keeps on increasing so using this example we are going to learn about lifecycle components or lifecycle methods using react hooks and we are going to see how we can use them so in order to implement lifecycle methods in functional components react we have a special hooks called use effect hook so using use effect hook we can implement lifecycle methods and functional components as well so let me call that use effect hook as you can see here it is suggesting me and i have imported it out here and here it it is expecting to pass a callback function so i'm going to pass a callback function here that's all and once i pass our hook is ready use effect hook is ready now using this use effect hook we are going to see all the lifecycle methods in react and we know that there are basically three phases of lifecycle methods in react that is the mounting phase updating phase and unmounting phase so mounting phase is that phase when your page gets loaded and when your component is loading for the first time that phase is known as mounting phase basically that phase where all that dom elements gets prepared in the browser and all the data gets displayed so mounting phase remember it is going to happen only one time when the page is loading for the first time that is your mounting phase and we have second phase called updating phase so updating phase is that phase whenever some components changes that means whenever a data gets changes in a particular component and we change the data using set state here so we are going to change the data that is the count value using the set count and we are going to change the data of this component and whenever you know that whenever the data of the component is changed that component gets re-rendered using set state method means that component is getting updated so that moment of time we are in the second phase that is known as updating phase of the lifecycle components or the lifecycle methods and we have the last phase that is known as unmounting phase so unmounting phase is that phase when that component gets killed or when that component gets removed so that particular phase is known as unmounting phase so we have these three phase and we are going to discuss how to implement all these three phase mounting updating and unmounting phase in functional components using use effect hook so let us start with the mounting phase here so implementing mounting phase is quite simple we just need to call this use effect and we need to pass a callback function and there we go our mounting phase is ready here we need to pass an empty array this is also called an dependency array so i'm going to talk later here but let let us just initialize this empty array for now and if we do this much then our mounting phase is ready so this 
whatever the piece of code we write inside this use effect hook that is going to run only during the mounting phase so by mounting phase i mean whenever the component or whenever the piece loads for the first time now next time whenever the update happens at that moment of time this use effect hook is not going to run means the code inside the use effect hook is not going to run because this is a perfect recipe or this is set for the mounting phase because we have initialized with an empty array so let me show you with an example here so i'm just going to write console.log and here i'm going to say mounting phase okay so that's what i'm going to say here and uh, let me save this and let me go to the browser here now let us refresh and you can see as soon as I refresh, so this is the first time the browser is getting updated and that's how we can see mounting phase being loaded here. Now, as soon as I try to increment the value, you can see I'm incrementing the values using set count, right? So that means I'm resetting the state. That means this functional components or this app component is reloading again and again but we cannot see this mounting phase logging again and again because i told you mounting phase is that phase whenever the piece loads for the first time so this is what mounting phase and this is how we can implement using use effect so you just need to call this use effect function you need to import it from the react here and you need to pass a callback function and you need to initialize an empty array that's all and whatever the thing you want to do during the mounting phase you can write those code inside this use effect and that is going to run only one time when your page is loading for the first time so that is known as mounting phase of the react now we have another phase that is known as updating phase so let us go there but before that uh, let me comment here and let me write it as mounting phase okay that's all now let me copy this and comment it out and let me go under here and let me copy paste this out here now this is known as updating phase so we are going to see how to create an updating phase so for that let me remove this dependency array now i have removed this dependency array now let me go to the browser again so notice the code is pretty much the same thing i've just removed this array which is also known as dependency array now let me go to the browser and let me refresh my page and here it is saying updating phase updating phase runs for the first time as well and now let me hit the increment counter and you can see as soon as i keeps on incrementing you know that app component keeps on getting updated right so that's why this updating phase is getting triggered again and again see here i've called 11 time updating phase got triggered 11 time so that's how it is now there is one problem with this that is whenever anything gets updated this updating phase is going to run but what if we want to precise it we want to make it more precise and we want to say that hey whenever only this particular set of data changes then only you go through the updating phase that one we can do that for that we need to pass something called dependency array and inside that we need to pass that particular value or that particular data and we, we need to say to the react or the use effect that hey listen to this data and whenever this data gets changes you run that updating phase so let's just say we want to listen to this count here and whenever we change our count or we increment our count we want to run the updating phase so we want to listen to the count so that's why we need to pass this count here in the dependency array now as soon as i pass this now this updating phase is going to run only when the value or the data of the count is going to change so let us go to the browser and let me refresh now as soon as i increment this now you can see as soon as i increment the updating phase is going to run but if there is some any other data and if that data is going to change then this updating phase is not going to run so this is how we can achieve updating phase using use effect hook so let me comment this out again here and instead of mounting i'm going to write updating well because this is an updating phase that we have created using use effect hook and now let's get started with uh, something called uh, unmounting phase so let me copy that okay i just need to copy this and uh, let me paste here now here we are going to talk about 
unmounting phase. So unmounting phase is that phase whenever the component is getting destroyed or that component is getting killed. So that phase is known as unmounting phase. So how do we create this unmounting phase? So let's see. And that's pretty simple. So first let me write unmounting phase here. And after that, what we need to do is we just need to return a function. And as soon as we return a function, we are going to create an unmounting phase. So whatever the code we write inside this return function, that code is going to execute whenever a certain component is destroyed inside the React application. So now let me just call this, uh, cut this unmounting phase and let me log it inside here now here this unmounting phase is going to run only when a certain component is destroyed inside this react application only at that moment so in order to do that i have already created a particular component called onmount.js and here i have simply written in text called i'm an unmount component now let me call this component here and uh, let me say unmount okay so i've called it here and you can see i've imported it here as well now let me go to the browser now you can see that here we have this increment counter zero and i'm an unmount component now let me increment the counter okay now whenever uh whenever i try to kill this unmount component whenever i try to remove this unmount component this unmounting phase is going to trigger so this is also known as cleanup code in react okay so here let me write this cleanup code or cleanup function we like to call it now whenever i try to remove this unmount component this unmounting phase is going to call so let me remove this unmount and let me save and let me go to the browser and here you can see this unmounting phase got triggered and it got called so this is how unmounting phase works in react so this unmounting phase is really useful when you are doing some kind of an api call so here you can do some api call here so let me comment it out okay so let's just say you are doing some kind of api call and now you need to clean that api call you need to cancel that api call after some point of time so how do we do that that you can do using this unmounting phase or this function is also known as cleanup function and you can cancel your api token you can use your cancel token here and in using that you can cancel your api call so for that i have also written a pretty good block at medium you can check those out i'll link it in the description as well so yeah guys these are the three phases of lifecycle methods in react and this is how we can implement all those three phases using functional components in react and you can know that these are pretty easy in order to implement the mounting phase you just need to call the use effect call a callback function and pass an empty dependency array that's all and you have created your mounting phase and for the updating phase what you need to do is it's all same like just like the mounting phase what you need to do is you just need to pass some variable or some value in the dependency array and you need to tell the use effect that hey whenever this particular data gets changed you just get triggered at that particular point of time so that is known as updating phase and finally we have something called unmounting phase that is that phase whenever a component is getting destroyed so at that moment of time this unmounting phase is going to call and remember we also call it cleanup function as well